Hey guys, welcome back to Pure. This time again, it's just me, Insetic, and Blank Tester. Are you sure? I'm sure ready for some fine racing action. I'm sure. Uh, just. Racing. Yep. Yep. Again, swap into a new character each episode. This character will have a Talk different you, signature I'm special trick talking. and look Thank a little different. Know. This dude is like the super American dude. You saw that, like red, white, and blue on his chest, and uh, this stage is switching it up on us because we're going to a brand new level in freestyle mode this time, yeah. um, and in this stage, on this video, our ATVs are named after great thinkers, great thinkers who we can make puns about racing or tricking on. It was very difficult for us to come up with the racing one. Yeah, so we have Bernoulli and Aristotle. Right. Yeah. Aristotle's uh, a free thinker, so, you know. So he's freaking, a freestyler. He's a freestyler, and, and then Bernoulli Ber is That's uh, all about fluid flow and stuff, and when you're flowing through air, turbo jetting and, and stuff. And shit like that. You know, that's kind of how it worked out. Yeah, that's the best we got. Yeah, so... We're your puns below. Yeah, so this is the first time, I think... We're going to a new level in freestyle mode instead of race mode. Oh, okay. Usually, like, you've gone through a race to kind of, you know, demo the level out, and then you get freestyle mode where it adds the pickups and some extra wooden ramps and such. Okay. Um, and while... So this track is really great for freestyle. I think it was probably one of my favorites. Uh -huh. I have was in there, you know, from back when I played the game originally. Because right. I think it has some of, like, the biggest jumps in the game and such. Oh, that's cool. I think it's kind of weird that they do freestyle mode first, because while I remembered liking this track, I didn't remember every part of it, mm -hmm. and so... And first time players are obviously not going to remember any parts of Yeah, so I played sort of conservatively, because I didn't know where the biggest jumps were, you know, I didn't know where I could bust my special trick out, or where I'd, you know, jump, bust it out, fall on my face, feel dumb, get set back, lose gas, lose combo because in freestyle mode, you especially don't want to crash everywhere and such. Right. So I'm kind of going off of these things, doing little tweaks or whatever, and actually kind of having trouble keeping up for a little bit, because when I do get to the big jumps, I either didn't know they were there or just happened to not be ready for them. Yeah, right. You know, like not be able to do specials off them or whatever. So you'd say it, it, it was better when they were just doing yeah, I think racing first. I, yeah, I think they should have always had you do a race first. And it's not like they've completely switched. Like, later down the line, later yeah. in the game, they're going to go back to doing... Yeah, actually, for a good bit, um, in one of the later episodes, it introduces, like, two new levels, both freestyle first. Hmm. Um, which I guess, you know, racing, you do a race, you get to see where the big jumps are. Freestyle, maybe you get to see where the shortcuts are without needing to do them. I guess that's true. You know, I mean, they're still introducing levels to you. There's still a bunch of levels you guys haven't seen. And maybe if you, like, do an A-class race on a level for the first time and you're supposed to take the shortcuts and stuff and you don't know where they are... Yeah. Then... I mean, do you think maybe they they were just trying to mix it up so that it's not monotonous? Or do you think maybe they were thinking, the race on this one's going to be harder, so let's give them the tricking first. I don't know, like, I mean, it's it's really about hard and, you know, like the, well, obviously it's about hard, but like, it, it's really about AI behavior and where you are kind of in the game on how hard something's gonna be. You know, in A class, the uh, riders are gonna do a lot better than in D class or whatever. Sure. Um, and I'm guessing on the freestyle events in each class, they're programmed to do better okay. in the later ones. So they could give the same track to someone in the first stage or the last stage, and like the AI behavior would be really determined how hard it would be. Right. Because you're not racing against real people here. If the AI is supposed to make you take shortcuts, it's going to make you take shortcuts. Yeah. Or if you're supposed to just dip your feet in and get your feet wet, then things are going to be easier overall. I mean, in, in, in the single-player world tour mode, this is pretty much entirely up to the game and programming its control. Okay. Yeah. Look at me, I'm a rock star. Roll nope. Yeah. Roll 
rolling around at the speed of sound. I'm falling on top of my ATV. Like, I'm quoting a song and trying to transpose the lyrics and not doing it well. I, I don't know what song it is. Oh man, come on, Rockstar! At, from the SSX3 soundtrack? Yay, look at me, I'm a rock star. I'm running on top of a cop car. Oh, I guess, yeah. And then they, like, censor half the lines, so all you hear is, I'm rolling in a... Yeah, they didn't censor it in True Crime, so... That's, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Sandy Mountain. Would you say that was quite sandy? Sandy Cheeks? Yep. Alright. Now we're on to the Sprint event. And also, I sort of want to talk about the Sprint events around this point in the game. Because, okay. kind of when you, you start out in the first few stages, and you're at the lower events, they, uh, I mean, the sprint events are here for one purpose, so the the order you get to these is definitely laid out by the developers in a sp specific way. You know, the sprint levels that you go to first are just easier overall. Plain easier, just hold hold down on the gas and maybe you do a couple turns or such. You never really have to get too technical. But around this point in the game, um, if you just hold down on the gas the entire time, you start to have a lot of trouble, because mm, I remember there's, yeah. you know, a lot of hairpin turns and stuff. And I guess it might be obvious to a certain group of people, but the game never kind of explicitly helps you out in, you know, sprint events and tells you maybe you should manage your braking or your, you know gas when you're on the throttle, maybe you should lay off for a bit. Right, which is something that more technical games do more than pure. Yeah. Pure is not a, a super technical game, so when that comes up in the game, it's kind of about Yeah. When it introduces Sprint at the start, sure, maybe it says, like, you have to take the best line. I don't remember the exact thing, but again, those first Sprint races, um, you're not going to have an issue with you know, something being technical, you might just fly off the course because you don't have a handle on the controls yet, or sure. something. Um, and so again, you, you don't really pick up on, maybe I need to start thinking of these things, until you really do need to start thinking of them. And yeah. you saw that last stage with those two sprint events, those are kind of the first introducers to having to try a little harder and be a little more technical, like you saw in that Ghost Creek one, I just rode off the corner because I didn't break at all, and right. I dropped from like first to fifth and so it's, lost it's, the race. It's this this turn right here, this the first time you were, first time you played this again, uh, it was it, it was rather challenging because everybody would just take this really sweet line through there, and if you're just gunning it, you'll miss that line. Yeah. And completely. You'll completely miss the line, and then everybody will just get ahead of you. Yeah, like, this. that wasn't my first time trying it. That was probably, like, my tenth or whatever, because I wanted to come in first. Um, I didn't want to have to go back and redo it, and it was basically a bunch of attempts of <clears throat> basically... different combinations of letting off and yeah, work, work, gunning it. working that corner, so I think I had, like, lift off the gas, wait, hold the brake, turn lift off both, then put the gas down again, you know, Yeah. to, to really like slow down and spin around that corner on the very inside and take off again. Um, so yeah, while the sprint events are all doable, I mean, once you know what to do, again, you're out clocking the AI pretty well. It's figuring out that A, you need to do these things, and then B, exactly what to do. That is sort of the challenge there. Yeah, and then it's back to, uh, I mean, and then this stage is back to races or freestyles on previous tracks. Right. I mean, you remember this one, that kind of, like, oh, yeah, coastal island one or whatever? I love this jump. You jump off and you just see this great lagoon or whatever. Yeah, I think that is it. Yeah. This way. The backgrounds in this game are really good. And yeah. really cool, because often you can see, like, later parts of the level of previous parts. Um, yeah, and even when you can't, like, you, you're seeing, like, really interesting-looking vistas and stuff like that. Yeah. That's, that's something where, you know, it's, an atten it's a bit of attention to detail that seems really obvious, but somehow people still fuck it up. Yeah. Um, like, they'll design a level, and they're, they're inside the level will look really nice, it'll look really interesting, there'll be lots of cool mechanics, and this is the best-case scenario. And then... 
And then for some reason they go, oh, the background, nobody's gonna look at that, so let's just say fuck it. And yeah. When you when you look at it, it just looks hideous. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you're concentrating and racing or whatever, you know, you can kind of just see the scenery around you. But especially if you're going off this jump and like doing this special trick or whatever. I mean, you hit a couple buttons and then let's think about what you're doing. You're waiting for a couple seconds right. for that thing to finish. And so especially in there, you can go like, damn, this looks pretty awesome. Right, that's a great moment for the player to just get lost in the scenery or, you know, in the moment. Because if you don't have something to capture their attention or make them go, wow, that looks really cool, you know, after a while, they're going to see the same trick over and over, and they'll get bored of that. Yeah. And with a big vista, there's going to be, you know, lots of stuff to look at. Yeah, I mean, this game does, like, a real good job in differentiating its areas. I mean, not all of them can be this bright and colorful. You know, you do That's have true. to have kind of muddy, rocky areas or, or such. Or sandy or... Or sandy know. or such, but then they start playing with, like, times of day and skyboxes and such, still. Yeah. Um, did I mean, they ever do any? Maybe I'm just forgetting a level we've already done. Did they do any ice stuff, like snowy or ice physics? Or yeah, anything? yeah. It's a level we haven't gotten to yet. Oh, okay. Um, and normally I fade through these, but I'm fast forwarding through this one because, like, this level is a little tougher to put a big combo together, and I was kind of really? struggling um, keeping ahead of the AI. You know, normally once I fade to the end of these events, I'm like 400,000 points ahead. But here it's actually kind of a tough battle. Maybe I don't know where the best lines are or whatever, but I think like in most levels, there's there's one point where you can just chain something together and just go on. And just and really the, yeah, come out was... really come out ahead if you know what you're doing. But here I think all the uh, ramps and stuff are just a little too f uh, far apart. Not saying bring them together. I'm just saying a little too far apart to put together something huge. Right. Maybe there's some other line that we haven't seen. Yeah. That somebody else has seen, but... Oh, snap. We got our pick of, uh, things. Oh, shit. And, oh, man, look at that boost to the boost. Yeah, man. You think I'm gonna pick anything else except that? Yeah, boost your boost, man. Come on, you present me with these things, and then you, you at all think that I'm gonna pick either of the other two? Burn Uli is about to get... Burn Uli is about to get a boost... Yeah. To its boost. Oh shit, 97 right there. Christ. That's about that maxed be, out. That's like 50 more than it should be. <laughs> so it'd be 47. You're right. Yeah. I should try to make an ATV that has as many stats. Well, this is 87. Has as many stats at 47 as I can. Let's see how well you do. Yeah, actually, there is an achievement in this game, and the game does have some, like, online play necessary achievements uh, kind of unfortunately but yeah. there's an achievement in this game for winning in a a class event with a d class craft really and i remember because i if i remember right online play was divided kind of into the, the classes, craft yeah. classes which is why everybody if you played online had like eight atvs right. all pre-made you know a Where race and a freestyle for each class, but like it was like a freestyle event, and I wanted to get the achievement, and I knew I was good enough to get it, and so I brought my D list into all the A lists, and I I won I got that achievement. Trucked. Yeah, I trucked them. I tricked and I trucked them. We could we, we should try to make a, a, a an ATV that's all 47s yeah. across the board as much as we can. And yeah. you know I'm maybe for a bonus. Also, talking about online play, I think, if anyone's still watching this far, I think we should get serious or more serious about figuring out if we're going to have any online event for Pure. Um, uh, you know, like, how many people have a copy or would buy a copy and would want to play it right. online at any date, and for what console, and if it's for the PS3, if I'm going to stream it or whatever, because... I still need to buy that cable, that yeah. specialty cable. Um, but I think, you know, we're more than halfway through the game now, and sure, these episodes aren't coming out like rapid fire, so if we all comment about it now, there's still plenty of time to get this worked out. Sure. Um, but yeah, that I, I think it, it would be interesting. Yeah, if you, if you listening are, are at all interested 
or think you could, or would at least watch it, you know, please leave a comment let us know. That way we can kind of gauge interest. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, I guess we might might be able to make PC work, but probably would just want to go with consoles. Yeah, probably not. Neither Blank Test or I have very good yeah, PCs. Mean, we, we don't even we have could, PCs. We, could we borrow, have laptops. We could borrow. We could borrow. I guess so, but I've never played PC Pure. Maybe yeah. I could. Well, I you could, could probably. Uh, yeah, I could have a couple controller. But, yeah, so if there's any interest at all, please let us know. Yeah. Because I think it'd be really cool to get some people in there and play, play some multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. Just I mean, just that, or you know my motto, you know, Incentic 47, connected to fans. I even have a shirt with... He does actually have a shirt. From, uh, yeah, that. from one of our old groups. Yeah. It was like, all right, guys, what are your individual slogans? And I was like, I'm connected to fans. Yeah. Mine was, nobody kills my buddies but me. Yeah. Oh, man. I want to make the ATV that you see in those extra ATV slot pictures. And In fact, I tried, I think, next video, but it didn't really work out. Because, like, if you look at that one, the colors are just so radiant. Mm. You know, like a really kind of shiny blue or whatever. You know, sure, you've got some cool colors here, but they're like a little... They probably, they probably tweaked the color balance for that little picture. Yeah. Yeah. I wish, you know, maybe maybe they had some brighter pastel colors or, or whatever. Or if they just had, like, like one of those, one of those uh, things where you could pick basically any like, color. Like, yeah, and then pick, like, metallic or chrome or whatever. Like, yeah. You know, some of the other racing games do. Oh, man. You remember, you remember in Saints Row 2 how many color options <laughs> yeah. you had for color, yeah. coloring your cars? Like, you, you had, like, a huge palette of colors. And on top of that, like, five or six materials. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking yeah, of. That That'd would be, be awesome. awesome. Like, sure, you can make a pink pink ATV, but can you make a hot pink ATV? Right. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, zero points, one X trick. You can actually, in GTA V, there's a, there's a glitch that I saw. Maybe they patched it out already. Um, where if you, if you pick a, um, what's it called? A, uh, not fluorescent. Pearlescent, pearlescent color. Uh, you can get that shine to apply to different paints. So, like, you can pick a matte paint and a pearlescent paint and get the pearlescent shine on a matte paint color yeah. so the two won't match. But it'll mean that, like, when you're looking at the car normally, it'll be, like, red or something. Yeah. But then when you look at the shine on it, that shine will make it orange or make it purple or something. Man, how come those giant games where you get in a car and drive for like five minutes before getting out and just like mowing people down and then like ignoring your car for like hours gets all these options while this game all about riding your swag ass ATV only has like 30 options? I don't know, man. Yeah, man. I mean, open world games, they, hashtag, they try to cram as much shit in there Hashtag as we want pure two. Yeah. Man, I seriously am kind of pure too kind of weird pure. that never got like DLC or anything, you know? Yeah, it kinda just kind of came out. I don't then... even know if there were like patches or whatever. I mean, sure, the game's not super glitchy. In fact, I struggle to think of any glitches, but still, it kind of just like came out. People bought it. People liked it. And That's they it. We're done. Yeah. They started making the next game. Yeah. Oh man. So, yeah, you saw the superhero move that was kind of his special one. Yeah, the, the part where he falls off the uh, ATV. Yeah. <sighs> Get good, B. Taylor. Yeah. Get good, G. Where's, uh, where's, well, S. S. Andrews is. Oh, snap. Right. T. Andrews. You're playing T. Andrews. Oh, right, I am. Yeah. Okay, well, I actually forgot. I don't know these, I don't remember these characters' names. <laughs> oh, shit. There's S. Andrews. Yeah. And oh, we got another special trick. Oh snap. The whirlwind. That looks pretty dope. Yeah. Alright. Next up, we're going to ICP. ITP. ICP. Yeah. The yeah, sure, we're going to the ICP. The insane train posse. Yeah. Insane trail posse. Yeah. 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 Like that. yeah. They've got their own gathering, but uh we still need to come up with the name for it. The truckalos. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Still chipping away at more stages. All right, peace out.